If you recall some of the properties of logs that you've established in previous courses, we can make use of some of those algebraic properties for log functions to rewrite expressions in equivalent forms, which we'll then be able to differentiate using the property we've established so far. So in example four, each of these problems initially can't be differentiated using the techniques that we have. So we'll make use of some properties of log functions, rewrite them, and come up with something that we'll be able to differentiate. So the first property we'll take a look at is one that says that for log functions, if we're taking the natural log of x raised to some power, we can bring that power down as a factor in front. This is similar to the process that we use for differentiating power functions, but it's important to keep in mind that this isn't the same idea. This isn't a calculus-based property. This goes back to algebraic properties of log functions. So we can rewrite this as 11 times the natural log of x. So once we use that rewrite, then we can find f prime of x as 11 times the, de the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1 over x. So we get 11 over x. In part b, the first term is fine. We know how to differentiate 15x, but we can't differentiate the natural log of 15x. All we have is a property for the natural log of just x by itself. But again, going back to some of our algebraic properties for logs, we can rewrite this as the natural log of 15 plus the natural log of x. So when we have the natural log of two quantities being multiplied together, we can split that up as the log of each of those and add those two terms together. So now we can differentiate term by term to get 15 plus the natural log of 15 is just a constant, so that's 0, plus the natural log of x, the derivative of that will be 1 over x. So we get 15 plus 1 over x. There's also an algebraic property for logs that lets us break up this division problem. So instead of writing this as the natural log of 7 divided by x, we can rewrite it as the natural log of 7 minus the natural log of x. So again, if we have two quantities being divided, we can break that up with subtraction, meaning that h prime of x, the derivative of h of x, will be the derivative of natural log of 7 is again just a constant, so we get 0 minus 1 over x, or negative 1 over x. So if initially you start off with a problem that doesn't match exactly that property that we have, because all we have right now is that the derivative of natural log of x equals 1 over x. If we have anything that's slightly different than that, we want to look at using one of these three algebraic properties to rewrite it so that we then can take that derivative. 